what's up everybody Frank Valkyrie welcome to the channel how you guys doing I'm awake I woke up that's a good sign usually when you stand up from the bed otherwise okay not very good anyway let's dive straight into a new video together we're gonna talk about Johnny Depp yes this is still my book in sale and also thank you so much for the support the more the better remember now let's go bam Johnny Depp was invited at the Tashkent Film Festival 2022 uh, for a masterclass obviously I couldn't find uh, the whole thing yet hopefully perhaps in a few days maybe the Tashkent Film Festival makes that available online for people to watch perhaps the whole interview but we're going to focus just now on the little snippets I think Johnny Depp was there also to promote and talk about the Miyamata, the last movie that he shot uh, in 2019. And I still have to watch it. So, uh, but anyway, let's go together and then we talk a little bit about this. Let's watch whatever it's... It's a film festival in which Johnny Depp is going to be um, speaking. So I'm going to drop, can I drop my guy in there? And welcome to Tashkent. Hey, Tashkent, how are you doing? That's very nice and green. I love green. Goals and objectives of the 14th festival um, is uh, held in order to preserve and develop the age old tradition of national cinema and further develop cultural and educational activities in the Republic of Uzbekistan and develop cultural ties at the international level. Uh, very nice. So we have some news, and uh, here's Johnny Depp, and it's in uh, Russian. So I'm going to press the old translate button. So we have a long-awaited meeting with Johnny Depp, and a master class and film screenings uh, with Johnny Depp, and uh, it's a long-awaited online meeting. Which is good. I just want to say, this guy takes the time to uh, to have a master class and answer questions, uh, of course, from a, a video connection, from a video call. Um, to a film festival that me and you probably would never heard of but uh, I'm first of all happy that it does exist because I'm a great fan of cinema uh, absolutely big big fan of cinema and directors from all around the world uh, I've always looked for new movies and new ways of making cinema it's been a big passion of mine together with uh, music um, that's why a few days ago I was really quite sad when Jean-Luc Godard passed away even though he lived a long life but still uh, if you know you know so uh, what I'm trying to say here is that uh, it's great that Johnny Depp really takes the time really speaks volume on the character of the person that uh, he doesn't just show up when he's invited in bigger event where there is a lot more media coverage but he also uh, celebrates cultural events of other countries which they're trying to celebrate cinema and increase that kind of cultural impact um, within the country and probably also enhance their own culture through the expression of cinema and to bring it around. So he's doing a, a, a favor in both sense because thanks to him, we also get to know that a festival year exists and perhaps next time you hear of a director from Uzbekistan uh, you're going to be curious and watch a movie perhaps so bam thank you johnny depp and uh i have the footage and i've got to warn you it's a bit rough to be honest it's uh it's taken from various people's mobile <coughs> phones and it's shot from the back of a camera and it's all oh i thought this was the guy actually the sorry man i thought actually this was the presenter of the show somehow a bit mm, not great but uh it's it's the best we could get our hands on so uh do bear with me and uh, I'm going to put it on now. Um, is he, is he Andrew on? It's, it seems like a question that uh, Andrew uh, would answer. Is he, is he uh, with us or is he without us? He had to protect that by writing his way forward and it saved him. So I think that there's a I think that there's a continuity from right now all the way back through history 
You've got Charles Baudelaire, um, who was a another hypersensitive individual who needed to, in whatever way. Um, Minimala was uh, made, the film was made by a, a, um, a group of people. And there's never just one person, you know, but with the combination as much as, as, as one can, as one does. Uh, I have to say that uh, Minami um, was extraordinary. It, 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 certainly that, that her, her work in the film is extraordinary. <laughs> it's first, um, as an enormous, a huge compliment um, from Minami and I. That's very kind. I, uh... Technical issues, Sam, is that what she's... Yeah, I think the, the, the other question was about, like... Good evening. Uh, Considering the, um, uh, you know, the survivors and the... So thank you very much for, for watching it. Thank you. All right, all the news to bring us this. Um, you know, I actually thought there would be a little bit more here to talk about, but it uh, doesn't matter. We had a glimpse of Johnny Depp being Johnny Depp, also promoting his movie in Miyamata. Uh, passion Project, let's not forget, this is the last movie that he shot. Now he's working again. He was working on a French movie. Probably soon we will hear about new collaboration. Um, what I love about this festival, you see how the audience is reacting, uh, cherishing him, the perception of the man, um, it's still the same. And most likely it's not because they don't know about the trial, because I'm pretty sure also the majority of the audience here uh, knows about what's up, or what the guy went through for you know the past six weeks and then many months after the trial. So it's just a testament that people know uh, on which side to be uh, especially I saw pictures a year in the audience that most of the people were actually women and uh, you know also my audience most of them it's uh, most of you guys are women it's the same it's always seems like a weird things that you use in English guys that you can actually refer to both male and women I, I never get used to it anyway that's how it is all right and I don't think it's because Johnny Depp, it's a still handsome, but of course he is. I think it is because most likely women have a good rather, rather to point out who is a bitch. Okay? Women, they have this gut feeling, most of them, which gives them the ability, the superpower. When they see one, they go like, that's a bitch. Okay? So most likely, most women, when they saw H on the stand, they went like, you, you, you are a PH. Okay? I'm not saying this. You don't have to agree with me. But if you are a, a, a woman in the audience, let me know about your superpower. So anyway, uh, I think I should do more with that. So it's not a coincidence that actually most supporters of Johnny actually are women. Because I, I really think that a lot of women, they can see through the BS of the manipulation. Um, so anyway guys, this is very interesting again speaks volume on the on the personality <clears throat> you, you see like the you see the reaction of the audience and like I said it speaks volume on the personality of Johnny Depp that he takes time for bigger shows, smaller shows, lesser known shows or whatever. To, to be there, to be with his audience. He doesn't have to, but he does. And it really shows a, a lot of, uh, let's say, down to hurt type of guy. You know, a guy that almost made a billion with his movies. is known everywhere, every s probably single country around the world has heard the name Johnny Depp. And still the dude shows up 
in a festival that until now you never heard of and uh, still you know that's like I said in the beginning great both ways because of his name we get to know another country's festival a cultural event um, which cherishes and, and, and tries to promote cinema good cinema and good artists I suppose so uh, that's very nice Guy, guys let me know your thoughts on this if there is more we will talk about it again Johnny Depp is it's winning more and more all the bots and the sentinels and uh, the, the, those other like uh, um, individuals individuals which they're going around trying still to tarnish his, his image and also going after us accusing us of doing something wrong when in fact uh, we just listen to the fact we read the facts we share the fact and we stand uh, on the right side I suppose uh, so uh, anyway please consider subscribing all right I really appreciate your support every single day and I talk to you later always spread love ciao